All right, you guys, so we are back out here with the TRX4M and all the upgrades that I put onto it. So this guy right here, we have got the metal diff gears that I ended up putting in here because the last time that I took it out did not do so well. Listen to that. So we got them put in here. We also have uh, some new shocks. I upgraded the shocks. Hopefully you guys can see that. Upgraded the shocks to this thing, hoping that um, these shocks will do good. So it's gonna be a test now on how these shocks do and how this guy's gonna run here on the uh, little mini course. So let's go. All right, you guys, so I want to take a moment and thank the sponsor of today's video, Suma Detail. They came out with a new product, Suma Ceramic Spray, and this stuff works great. If you want to have that new look car shine on your car, but you want to do it at a fraction of a cost, this is your friend. Go buy yourself a bottle of this. This stuff works absolute wonders. I've used it on my car and it looks great. It will repel the dirt, the water, all that road grind. It just repels it right off. You should apply this every six months, but Suma recommends you to apply this every three months just to keep the ceramic coating nice and fresh on your car. So you guys want to pick up a bottle, hit the link in the description down below. $38, you will not be disappointed and your car will be looking great.
All right, you guys, so there we have it. Now, this is another video that I was not expecting it to go the way that it went. I believe that this servo, this is still the stock servo that came on the TRX4 M Bronco, and I believe that it was just not made to handle all this weight. It also could have been the fact that it got bound up in an area over there somewhere. <laughs> and that caused it to just say, I'm done. Um, I do believe that it was the weight that's on the front of it because it's got a lot of weight. Let me show you guys. So that was uh, a little unexpected. I wasn't expecting that to happen. Now, there was an obstacle here that it went up perfectly. And as soon as I saw it crawling up that little obstacle right there, my jaw dropped. I've tried going up this spot before and nothing ever went up it. Nothing ever was able to go up that. And the TRX4M Bronco conquered that little bit today. That was really nice. That was really nice, the fact that it just climbed right up that. No issues at all until the servo decided to. I'm done. So if you guys go to add more weight onto your TRX4M, upgrade the servo. Just upgrade the servo because if you're out on the trail, luckily I'm at my little mini crawler course that's out back here in my yard. And uh, I'm able to just go inside the house and order a new servo and put it on but if you're out on the trail and this happens to you you might want you might uh, you, you walk a shame guys walk a shame so if you go to add all that brass onto the front of your trx4 m upgrade the servo just a word of advice so with that being said back in the office all right guys so back in the office and again this guy let me down again Second time out on a run and it let me down. First time, of course, as you guys saw, the front diff gears went out. Now, the servo decided to go out, but I had a feeling that the servo was not going to last long. With all the weight, all the brass that's on the front of this thing, as much weight as this thing has, that servo was definitely not going to be able to handle all that weight so like i said i was going to order a servo which i did i got the injura cordless 11 kilogram servo which brought the injura servo holder and an arm servo arm for this thing so what we're going to do we're going to change the servo out on this thing and in the next video, we'll be taking this guy out again on another run, competing again against this guy. And hopefully, hopefully, the TRX4M will cooperate to be able to go through the whole course without any issues. So let's go put the servo in.
All right, you guys, so we got the servo out. This is the 2065T that comes with the TRX4M. So with the Enjora servo, you end up getting a whole bunch of arms that comes with it. We're not gonna be using any of those. And of course, you get your Enjora INJS11 cordless servo. Now, the servo is going to sit the servo is a little bit taller than the stock one, as you guys can see, but I think it's gonna be all right. Now, what I wanna check is to see if that this wiring is long enough to run it the exact same way. Yep, it's actually longer. So the Enjora wiring is actually longer which is this one this pigtail here there we go and you can't see it <laughs> so the Enjora wiring is actually longer where you're still gonna be able to run it the exact same way that Traxxas had the original one run so the other thing we're gonna do is take this thing off we're going to take the servo tray off and we're going to replace it with the new aluminum one by Injura so let's continue on All right, you guys, and there it is. The new servo is hooked up. And she got some speed. All right. So that was not hard to install. I tried to use the screws that came with it, but the, I tried to use the screws that came with the TRX4M instead of using different types of screws, but that did not work. So when you go to add the screws onto this thing, do not forget to add some thread locker onto it so the screws will not back out when you're out on the trail and you'll end up losing screws. Metal to metal or aluminum to aluminum, you can use um, 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 thread locker. Don't forget to use some thread locker or you're gonna lose some screws. So, this guy is back in action again. I am gonna go ahead and tuck away the wiring for it. And next video, we should be getting it out on another run with this guy, <laughs> hopefully, and see how it is going to do. So, don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe, I will see you guys in another video and don't forget to keep our seeing guys. You all have a good one.